Hey there, how's it going? David in our here in Beam NG. And I want to go over something that I get asked a lot, and it has to do with AI roads. When you're adding in your own pathways, uh, some of the questions that come up. So the first thing that uh, you're going to notice is I am on Utah. This is the vanilla Utah. It comes with the game. I'm not making any changes at this point. I am simply going to show you uh, some different aspects of uh, AI road uh, development, incorporation, whatever word you want to use. So the first thing you do is when you get in here, you will most likely be in the object select mode. You see up here at the top, it has object select. The first thing you want to do is you want to jump over to the decal road editor. The decal road is how you make the AI paths. So as I move my mouse, I'm not clicking, I'm just moving my mouse. I'm not dragging anything, I'm just moving my mouse. You'll notice that there are some dark blue paths, and then every now and then you can kind of make out some light blue pathing. Light blue pathing means one of two things. Either one, it's an invisible road, uh, not only invisible, but it's also undrivable by the AI, or it means that it's like actually underneath so I don't know if you can see this or not but if I point to this road that curves up to the side you see some light blue underneath it and I'll try to zoom in so you can see that uh, in my uh, editor in the video editor software but you notice that like this one is turning light blue as I come down it turns light blue until I have it highlighted and then it becomes dark blue so sometimes it's not that it's undrivable it's just that it's not the road you're pointing at it makes a whole lot more sense when you're in messing with it anyhow so let's let's get into the crux of what we're doing here so for the sake of argument I want to pick there's a road this one. All right, so this is the road that I want to work on. So as I'm pointing on it, I'm going to click. And when I click one time, you'll notice that it turns white to let you know that it is highlighted. All right, there are a couple of things just to note real quick. This may be old hat for some of you, but for folks that are new to this, uh, let me just explain what's going on. The little red dots are nodes. And then at this point, you have these little marks, these little hash marks going in between there, and those are uh, subdivisions slash sections. Technically, they are the subdivisions. And essentially what that does is it allows you some granularity in terms of as you are uh, curving your roads around as you're making your roads. You'll notice that down in the bottom, there's an option down here that says Alt left mouse button is how you create a road or add a node to an existing road. And so that's what you would do is you would hold the alt key and then click your left mouse button and drag a path. I'm not going to get into that today because I'm, we're basically just going to talk about if you've got an existing road, um, what are some of the things that the game tells you about that road and, or if you've been putting roads, uh, onto your into your maps and you're having some trouble figuring some things out. So first and foremost, uh, I've got it selected, drivability. Drivability is whether or not the AI drives on it and what the AI thinks that road is. So for example, if you see the little pop up here, negative one means do not use the road. So if I, if I come back over here real quick and I just click on this little piece right here, you'll notice that the drivability for that little piece is a negative one. It's not drivable. The AI will never use this piece of road. Why is it there? I don't know. Ask the devs. All right. So <laughs> here we go. All right. So, uh, as you can see though, uh, you can, and you can also use one, which, uh, a one means that it's optimal, meaning that it is fully drivable, i.e. it's pavement, it's street. Um, the AI is going to use that road pretty much all the time. You'll notice that on our particular selection, it is at 0.9. And 0.9 means that the AI will use the road, though not quite as much as they would uh, the uh, a regular street path. Okay. Then below that, and this is one of the questions that I've been asked several times, is 
how do you tell the game that you only want so many lanes on each side? And this is where this lanes left and lanes right come in. So essentially, how many left lanes are there and how many right lanes are there? And you can see the way this is divided up. Um, it's got one of each. And uh, so that's how this road is set up, one of each one. You can also see that there's an option here to select whether or not it's a one-way road. So if I wanted to make this one way so that when they, when they come in, uh, it, it's only a one-way road, I could just check this box. Now, the danger of that is you might be thinking, well, yeah, that makes sense. You know, I want them to come in, come around. Okay, as soon as they get here, though, it's one. If you made it one way, it would be only one way in a particular direction. So essentially, they could come in for the sake of argument, come around this loop if this were one way, and then when they got here, they would see, oh well, I, I have to turn right, and so they would get stuck just going around in circles here because they could never leave, like a Hotel California situation. So be careful when you're doing one way. The other thing you can do is you can also flip direction. And if I, um, the, so the way this works is by default, what happens when you, when you put in a road. So for example, if I were to put in this road and I were to start here, come down here and I'm making these, I'm clicking to make these different nodes and I come around, then that is the direction that that road flows, right? So if I were to reverse this, then actually this would be the beginning and it would see them as going out this way. If I'm not mistaken, that is primarily, and, and I could be wrong about this, so please somebody else who knows more can, can correct me, but I believe that's primarily um, for if you want left-handed or right-handed driving, I think. I think that's what that's for. Um, also, it comes in handy with the one-way roads. All right. Um, because if I if I draw the road down and around this way, then it would be one way coming in. If I were to start here and drive around and go out, it would be one way out. And for all intents and purposes, no one would ever come on this road because the one way would prevent them from coming in because it's out. Clear as mud, clear as mud. Okay. Um, you can also have a gated road, and that is whether or not the road is open to the public. Um and essentially, that would allow you to make tracks, uh, as it were, or if you had a certain place that you wanted the AI vehicles to stay inside, um, then you could tell that it was gated and they'd have to stay in there. They can't leave and other cars can't come in. Um, so you can play around with that. Uh, again, with subdivisions, if I remember correctly, that is how many of these little lines are in between. Um I think that's what that for, and I apologize. It's been a little while since I've done those. Um, so those are the main things that I get asked a lot is how do I determine, you know, how many right and left lanes? And this can come in handy, if, especially if you've got like a road that is two lanes on one side and one lane on the other, then you could actually set this up so that you could say, hey, this side actually has two lanes on the right side and only one on the left if you wanted to do that. All right. So those are the big things. Um, you'll notice here that, uh, when I, when I click off, right, these are invisible. You don't see them in the game. You don't see them when I am, uh, not pointing to certain ones. Okay. A lot of this stuff, it, it, at least for me, when I've been laying down some AI roads, I don't mess with a lot of this stuff because I, I just let it do its thing. By all means, definitely feel like or you know feel free to you know play around with these settings and see what they do and see how they affect your game. Knowing that changing some of these, you're not going to see a difference all the time, every time. So you may have to. You know, pop in, load in some AI, see how they act, play for a little while, and, and and see what happens. But then you may have to stop the AI, restart the AI to see how they react to your uh, to, to whatever changes the, that you've made. Um, one of the things that uh, with the drivability, you'll notice, and I forgot to mention this, point five is a dirt road that comes in handy 
where like if you've got like here's a dirt road here this should come up with a 0.5 well actually it says they can't even drive on that road which is kind of a bummer and actually i'm not sure that's true maybe it's no huh i'm pretty sure i've seen ai come up that road have i not maybe i haven't i don't know see there's all kinds of different roads so i was kind of hoping okay well there's a 0.1 meaning you know that they might drive up there every now and then but essentially if you've got anything that is considered off-road or a dirt road, then certain cars are not going to drive on those roads because that, you know, in fact, the Bastion is probably one of them. It's not an off-road car. At least this version of it is not an off-road car. So it is not going to go up there. If it, if I had an off-road car or if I had an off-road version of this car, uh, then it might decide to you know, take that off-road path. So if you've put in AI paths and they're off-road and you've noticed that like nobody seems to be taking them, check your drivability. Did you set it for off-road? And here's the thing. The game has no idea. It doesn't know. Well, I mean, it does, but it doesn't care, I guess, <laughs> that this is an off-road path. If I were to change this drivability to one, then as far as the game is concerned, the AI sees that just as much of a road as they'd see this highway stretch here. It, it, it's not going to care. It's using this drivability index to determine what it's going to do. So I, I know this is kind of quick. Um, but I just wanted to give an overview as to AI roads and what some of the things mean, some of the settings, uh, so that you can get a feel for what's going on and also discuss uh, lanes and one way, flipping the direction, that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, 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 before I go, up at the top of here, you see where it says AI roads are selectable. Um, you want to make sure that that is checked because otherwise you'll, you won't be able to select these AI roads to work on them. Good thing I remembered that, huh? Got any other questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. Special thanks to Hero of God Gamer, Gallos Wilco, 7220 Gamer, the Maestro of Madness, it has to be done, and Cherry Boss for supporting the channel. Man, I thank you guys so, so much, and I appreciate it so, so much. And I thank you for watching and checking it out and hope that I'm teaching you some stuff. Some of this, we're learning together. So there we go. Okay, so. All right, anyway, there you go. I'm David Anark. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.